My heart goes out to the entire Austin East High School community. This is the fifth Austin East High School student to lose their life to gun violence just since January. All five deaths of our young people are tragic. This one is especially searing because it's an officer-involved shooting. My heart also goes out to Officer Wilson and his family. I wish him a speedy recovery. This has been a week of anguish for all of Knoxville. Our angst is compounded by the national stories of officer-involved shootings and the erosion of trust between law enforcement and the communities they pledge to protect and serve. Here are two things that I know. People join KPD to protect and serve the community and keep us safe. The relationship between police and the community only works when there's trust. We ask the public to report crimes. We ask the public to call in emergencies, to share information about past and potential, potential crimes. But trust is a two-way street and accountability is essential to trust. One of my first acts as mayor was to call for body-worn cameras. The community wanted them, KPD wanted them, I wanted them. We got them approved, funded, purchased, and just a few weeks ago, we announced that they were fully deployed. We pursued these cameras as another tool to build public trust and to be transparent with the community. Transparency also means timely, not six or 18 months later, but as soon after an incident as possible. Every day the video is not released perpetuates rumors and misinformation. Every day the video is not released undermines public trust. It is my first priority to get the videos released. The sooner we get the video out, the sooner we can begin to process and to heal. A few factors have slowed the release. First, state law requires that we protect the privacy of people on the video, and these rules are especially strict when it comes to juveniles and video captured inside a school. State law does not preclude us from sharing the video it just requires us to redact it first. And I want to explain what redact and redaction means. It is not to hide anything, but it's to protect the privacy and dignity of the individuals who are on the video, using things like pixelation to obscure their faces. Second, our district attorney general sought a court order in 2019 to maintain control of evidence in a criminal proceeding. When I spoke to General Allen after the incident, she maintained that this court order prohibited me from releasing the video. I disagree with this interpretation. So on Friday, we filed a petition with the Knox County Criminal Court to allow us to release the video. I am hopeful and confident that we will succeed. We will not rest until we are able to release the video. The public has a right to see the video. KPD officers should be held accountable based on their actions, not on rumor. I also want to let you know that I've reached out to the family of Anthony Thompson Jr. to express my condolences and to assure them that I will make sure they have the opportunity to view the video before it goes out to the public. They have lost their child and they deserve our sympathy and support as they endure this very public dialogue about his death. We can't change the past, but we can work to make a better future. Our efforts to address root causes of violence in partnership with many community partners are ongoing. In February, I proposed and City Council approved $1 million towards violence interruption efforts. This is our effort to stop the acute issues leading to violence right now. These problems cannot be changed overnight, but only by concentrated efforts by all of the stakeholders. We are committed to doing this work. Chief Justice Warren Berger wrote, people in an open society do not demand infallibility from their institutions, but it is difficult for them to accept what they are prohibited from viewing. I agree and will release the tapes as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Mayor, you can give me for a timeline on the I'm not taking any questions. Thank you.